All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday start of the work week. Here is upon us, uh, December second, two thousand twenty-four is the date. Ten fifty-three a.m. California time. Latest activity here on the earthquake three D globe shows a little small microquake there, a little point six in the California. Taking a look here at the last twenty-four hours of earthquake activity across the West Coast. Um, let's see what we got. A little bit of movement here across the uh, Long Valley Super Volcano, actually south of there in the uh, Volcanic Tablelands region. 2.3 in the last hour. Uh, anything else above 2.5? Let's see what we have here since last night. Looks like 2.6 coming in around the uh, Ojai area outside of Santa Barbara, right along that Coast Range Fault here. Fairly lengthy one. Uh, with a 2.6 really nothing else showing up there in this area for now in terms of microquake activity uh, aside from that southern california looks like uh, it looks like any given day out there right now typical movement across the uh, state across the pacific northwest there's that one earthquake there from yesterday a little 3.4 well off the coast of washington i'd say out in the juan de fuca ridge aside from that minimal activity across the area today so far it's still a little early so things could change at any given time of course we know earthquake activity uh, can happen at any given hour uh, the intermountain west region is pretty quiet aside from some small microquake activity one little earthquake outside the okc area with a 1.4 i'm sure there's some oil fields out here somewhere yep all right, so anything major going on here across the globe? Let's check out the largest magnitude here in the last 24 hours. It's going to be this five-pointer from yesterday. So far after midnight, well, 4.7 here across the Indonesia Islands area. Fairly shallow earthquake there, 6.2 miles uh, underneath the area. So looking at the globe here, shows our typical crunch zone area around the Indonesia Islands area northward and along the Java Trench showing some elevated activity today quite a bit of clustering going on in that uh, area across New Zealand 4.4 down on the South Island side right on the plate boundary it looks like I was just checking this out here looks like a 4.0 uh, there yesterday that's gonna be there yesterday time but um, see here 68 miles deep for that or 68 kilometers deep excuse me uh, for that earthquake as far as uh, felt reports go 77 reports coming in from that four-pointer that struck around the South Island area most of the reports coming in from the South Island region USGS reporting that earthquake as well as a 4.4 53 miles deep here just looks like it's just off the uh, plate boundary Kind of a deeper quake here for that area, but uh, some movement striking there in the last 24 hours. Aside from that, looks like North Island, New Zealand, 3.1. Fairly quiet up here across the Tonga area for now. Uh, Japan area as well. A lot of this activity from yesterday. Movement across Alaska, a little bit more on the uptick here today. As we zoom in here across the Northern Pacific, one earthquake in the last hour around the Cook Inlet area with a three-pointer. And some movement back here across the Aleutian Trench with a 4.7 there from yesterday. But uh, starting to kick up a little bit there today. Uh, aside from that, uh, let's see, Middle America Trench fairly active, but that's on any given day, I would say. I would say 4.3 along the uh, Ecuador area, it looks like. A couple other fours up and down the Perugia Trench as well. Puerto Rico Trench, some twos and threes out there. A lot of this here from yesterday, it looks like. A couple more earthquakes after midnight in the three range. Uh, all scattered up here across the area of Puerto Rico. So right now, nothing major going on. Kind of quiet in the earthquake world. 4.2 up here across the um, Mediterranean region. That's going to be... Uh, let's see. It looks like maybe out around the Black Sea area. No, it'll be over here around the Caspian Sea, it looks like. 4.2. Not that big of an earthquake, but some elevated movement out there today across that area. Nothing going on across the Atlantic. Things pretty quiet across that region of the Great Rift Zone. 
Give a quick glance here at Yellowstone National Park. Keep skipping over those guys, but we'll see if they have anything to look at today. And really not a whole lot to look at. A couple of smaller earthquakes here around Little West Thumb. That's going to be this earthquake here. That seismograph reading did show up on Mary Lake, Grant Village. Barely on the borehole station over here around Purple Mountain as well. At, uh, let's see where that's coming from. Maybe a little 0.9. That's at 0721. So 0721, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That looks a little bit bigger than the 0.9, but uh, they're really not reporting too much earthquake activity out there. And there's really not a lot, regardless of if it's a 0.9 or a 1.4. There's still not a whole lot happening out there across that super volcano for now. As far as solar flaring goes, fairly neutral out here, fairly stable. A little bit of sea flare activity here in the last few days and the last 24 hours, but really nothing of any noteworthy value entering into a little quiet spell for some reason here, it looks like. Uh, overall threat is uh, fairly limited. 99% certainty there for sea flare. It's almost consistently flaring in the sea flare category. Uh, M flare at 30, C, uh, X flare around 5% chance or so. Nothing major in the aurora forecast. And uh, unfortunately, we can't look at the colored um, uh, magnetogram image this is a black and white version here so we're just gonna have to go off of that for now there's really not a whole lot to go off of either uh, this image here put out from the 26 so unfortunately no new data coming in on that the UV filter here looks like it's current although a little bit behind let's see 1840 Well, that's right. So it looks like about just 15 minutes behind, but that's not that big of a deal when it comes to the sun imagery. Not a whole lot of bright features out here on the UV filter. So that means that some of these sunspots are uh, just either decaying or uh, non-active uh, non there. So a little quietness going on there on the sun today. And actually, it's been that way over the last couple of days. No major severe weather in the forecast either. Things are pretty quiet across the board here on this Monday. Maybe a little bit too quiet. Mondays are not supposed to be quiet, right? It's supposed to be a little bit hectic. Whether you're in the office or anywhere else around the world, Mondays are normally a little crazy. All right, so right now, uh, we got a lot of colder air venturing down again across the northeastern portion of the country. Limited moisture out across the west. Uh, might have some severe weather, it looks like, in Texas as we uh, come into this weekend time period. We'll have to check that out a little bit uh, towards that time frame. Some more moisture there across the south. A lot of moisture, actually, it looks like, here around next week time period. Bunch of rainfall coming in. Uh, there is a few more storms up there across the Pacific Northwest, but really nothing venturing into Northern California. In fact, it looks... Uh, it looks a little dry out here, and that's not a good sign here. Typical La Nina pattern. This could go either way. Most of the time, the storms hit up north of Northern California and, and provides Oregon and Washington with a bunch of rainfall. And it looks like that's where it's all headed. California left out here in the desert southwest. Nothing, nothing coming in. Look at that. About the only area of the country with no rainfall being reported here. From all these model runs all the way into the middle of December. Not good news. I know what happened. People started complaining about the two days of rain here we had recently. And they jinxed it. They jinxed us here. Hopefully we get more rain this winter time. Because, uh, you know, that's, that's not good. December is one of our wet months. And right now that looks like, huh, that looks like a September model. All right, uh, what else we got out here? Any major close approach asteroids? I don't think so. Yesterday we seen one come pretty close within a few thousand miles of the planet, that uh, five to six foot one. I haven't seen anything on social media about uh, any fireballs in the sky. That's a good thing about social media, right? Everyone's got a cell phone. Everyone's connected to the internet. Everyone has a camera, so... If someone says something's going on across the globe, there's a huge, massive fireball, more than likely, more than one person's going to pick it up here. Uh, so that I, I didn't see any reports coming in on social media about any fireball here from yesterday. 
So that must have safely dodged us. Um, yeah, but aside from that, there's a couple large asteroids coming in here, but fairly safe. Three million miles away, um, over a million miles away for that stadium-sized uh, asteroid. We do not want something like that hitting the planet. All right, uh, seismograph stations out there. Got a little earthquake coming into China Lake right now, it looks like. Uh, let's go see if uh, USGS is picking up on that earthquake yet. Well, it's not going to be uh, this 2.3. That was from just a, uh, that's from 59 minutes ago. So that's about ready to drop off. It looks like we have some further activity here uh, coming into the seismograph stations as we speak localized here but it looks larger uh, not showing up on the Barrett station up here or any other station so definitely localized but hard to say either way a little bit of movement there in California but nothing of spectacular nature for now all is uh, all is too quiet Better not jinx it, though. Knock on some wood. All right. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later unless something major happens out here. Enjoy your Monday and stay safe out there. We'll see you guys back out here a little bit later.